Hey guys, Gameboy3D100 here once again for a bonus extra video with keyboards today. Uh, today I'm going to show how uh, keyboards compare to each other. we got crappy old rubber domes up against slightly less crappy Cherry MX clones up against uh, pretty good but way less modern like 1990s Futoba keys with Cherry MX mounts. Oh, and I've also got an old beam spring here. That's just there. Uh, so first off, the very common, very crappy rubber dome keyboard. Honestly, not the worst rubber dome feeling. Like it does start off a little bit harder and then it gets softer as you press down. It's not the worst, but it's far from good. And then we have uh, this Razer keyboard with the... Uh, Razor Green Switch, which is just a clone of the uh, Trey MX Blue. So, put that back on. That's not the worst feeling key I've ever felt. It starts off light. Bit of a click. Not sure you know it's actu actuated. But anyone who's used Razer keyboards and these switches are actually awful and they stick like a lot. And not stick as in like, you know, get stuck pressing down. They click, but then you see that your uh, key press is still being on the screen. It's like if you do W really quick and then if you're typing something, it's very possible that the W will just keep being pressed even though it's uh, been fully clicked. I don't know. They're bad switches. Next, we move to uh, a Chikone keyboard with some uh, very old MX mounting keys. These are Futoba's white switches. And usually, it would be reversed this, like it would have this end down there. But nope, this one's reversed, so it's actually just a regular Cherry MX mount. You should have a much softer click compared to MX Blue slash MX Blue clones. But they feel pretty good. This is an old keyboard. It hasn't been cleaned in ages, but it still feels really, really good. And of course, it's the IBM layout, so it's got no start buttons. I would love to make this my main keyboard. The only problem is it's got a uh, AT DIN connector, so i got to find an adapter, and they seem to be uh, $40 or more if I want to uh, get it from not China. And then the beam spring. Well, of course, nothing compares to this. That's without the solenoid. Here it is with... Of course, beam springs are just about the smoothest switch in existence. And with the solenoid, it feels amazing. But yeah, that's it for this short video. Uh, I guess, lesson learned, rubber, rubber domes, even good ones, like that one's not awful, but it's far from a great one. But even good ones... Uh, should, like, not be used if you want to do anything ever. Cherry MX slash all the clones. Uh, they're usable, but they have problems. Old ones feel really good, but, of course, you got to make sure they're cleaned. I have not cleaned this board yet. And even though they feel good, I have no idea how well they still function because I don't have a connector for it. And then beam springs, well, if you can get a hold of one, you know, you're, you're, you're the king. But if I know a lot of people can't. So, rip, I guess. But yeah, that's it for this short video. Thanks for the out. I'll see you in the future.